Middle Egypt Arabic, MSR al MISR al is the section of land between Lower Egypt the Nile Delta and Upper Egypt, stretching upstream from Asayid in the south to Memphis in the north. At the time, ancient Egypt was divided into Lower and Upper Egypt, though Middle Egypt was technically a subdivision of Upper Egypt. It was not until the 19th century that archaeologists felt the need to divide Upper Egypt in two. As a result, they coined the term, Middle Egypt for the stretch of river between Cairo and the Cana Bend. It was also associated with a region termed Heptonomus, Greek, he Heptonomus in Ptol, IV. 5. Section 55, more properly Heptonomoi or Heptapolis, in Dionysus Periagetes 251, and sometimes he Metazi, gay meaning, seven gnomes, a gnome, being a subdivision of ancient Egypt, generally as the district which separates the Thebaid from the Delta. Middle Egypt today can be identified as the part of the Nile Valley that, while geographically part of Upper Egypt, is culturally closer to Lower Egypt. For instance, in terms of language, the Egyptian Arabic of people in Beni Suf and northwards shares features with Kyrene and particularly rural Delta Arabic rather than with the Sa. Idi Arabic spoken further south, and are often not considered Sa. Idis. Heptonomus In the 19th century, Heptonomus was described generally as the district which separates the Thebaid from the Delta. Inasmuch, however, as the appellation of the seven gnomes is political rather than territorial, it is not easy to define the actual boundaries of this region. The northern portion belonged to the Kingdom of Lower Egypt, of which it contained the capital, Memphis, the southern appertained to the elder Kingdom of Thebes, so long at least as there continued to be two monarchies in the Nile Valley. It is not possible to determine at what period, if indeed at any, the Heptonomus was regarded as an integral third of Egypt. About the number of its gnomes there can be no question, but which, at any given era, were the seven principal gnomes, it is less easy to decide. They probably varied with the vicissitudes of local prosperity, war, commerce, or migration, from time to time, causing a superior gnome to decline, and, on the contrary, raising an inferior gnome to eminence. According to Ptolemy and Agatharchides de Rubr. Mar. App. Photius Biblioth. p. 1339. R, both of whom wrote long after the original divisions had been modified. The seven gnomes were the following: one, Memphites; two, Heracleopolites; three, Crocodilopolites, renamed Arsenwat; four, Aphroditopolites; five, Oxyrhynchites; six, Sinopolites; and seven, Hermopolites. The greater and lesser oases were always reckoned portions of the Heptonomus, and hence it must apparently have sent nine, and not seven, nomarchs to the general assembly in the labyrinth. The capitals of the gnomes, whose names are sufficiently indicated by the respective appellations of the divisions themselves, e.g. Hermopolis of the Nomos Hermopolites, etc., were also the chief towns of the Middle Land. This district comprised the three greatest works of Egyptian art and enterprise, e.g., the pyramids, the labyrinth, and the artificial district formed by the canal Bar Yusuf canal of Joseph, the Nomos Arsenwat or the Fayum fume. The Heptonomus extended from latitude 27 degrees 4 north to 30 degrees north, its boundary to south was the castle of Hermopolis, Hermopolitan Phylake to the north the apex of the delta and the town of Circusorum, on the west the irregular line of the Libyan desert, and on the east, the hills which confine the Nile, or the sinuous outline, the recesses and projections of the Arabian mountains. Thus, near Hermopolis at the southern extremity of this region, the eastern hills approach very near the river, while those on the western or left bank recede to a considerable distance from it. Again, in latitude 29 degrees north, the Libyan hills retire from the vicinity of the Nile, bend toward northwest, and sharply return to it by a curve to east, embracing the province of Arsinoe formerly Crocodilopolis, now the city of al fayum between the hills on which the pyramids stand and the corresponding elevation of Gebel el Mokadam on the eastern bank of the river, the Heptonomus expands, until near Circusorum it acquires almost the breadth of the subjacent delta. The Heptonomus is remarkable for its quarries of stone and its rock grottoes. Besides the alabastrites, we find to the north of Antino the grottoes of Beni Hassan, the Spios Artimidos of the Greeks. Nine miles lower down are the grottoes of Kom el Amar, and in the Arabian desert, on the east, quarries of the beautiful veined and white alabaster, which the Egyptians employed in their sarcophagi, and in the more delicate portions of their architecture. 
From the quarries of Torah and Masara, in the hills of Gebel el Mokadam, east of Memphis, they obtained the limestone used in casing the pyramids. The roads from these quarries may still be traced across the intervening plain. Under the Ptolemies the Heptonomus was governed by an Epistradigos viceroy, prefect, and by an officer of corresponding designation, procurator, under the Roman Caesars. We find the procurator described in inscriptions orally, INSCR. Lot, N. 516 as Procurator Augusti Epistrategiae Septem Nomorum. Under the later Caesars in the 3rd century, the five northern gnomes, Memphites, Heracleopolites, Arsenwat, Aphroditopolites, and Oxyrincites, together with the Nomos Leptopolites, constituted the province of Arcadia Aegypti, which subsequently became a metropolitan episcopal see. The natural productions of the Heptonomus resemble those of Upper Egypt generally, and present a more tropical fauna and flora than those of the Delta. Its population also was less modified by Greek or Nubian admixture than that of either Lower or Upper Egypt, although, after the 4th century, the Heptonomus was overrun by Arabian marauders, who considerably affected the native racial mix. The capitals of the Heptonomus were collectively called the Heptapolis. <laughs> Major towns Topic 6th of October City Beni Suf Cairo Giza Fayum Topic See also Topic Upper Egypt Lower Egypt Upper and Lower Egypt Gnomes of Egypt Geography of Egypt Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic M. Capozo, Il Cristianissimo nel Medio Aguito, Todi 2007 Tau Editore, ISBN 978-88-6244-010-3